Hi everyone, my name's Rory Neary um, and I run the Data Spinners YouTube uh, channel. Uh, I'd like to talk to you guys today about uh, a practical use for summarize and filter. So the use case here is, is around Bradford Factor and uh, what Bradford Factor is, is um, a a measure of uh, absenteeism and um, if I can go into a little bit of detail uh, about that, um, that if we look at Wikipedia it um, calculates Bradford factor as being the Bradford factor is um, the number of episodes of sickness squared times the days that you were sick uh, and if we have a look on a on a little Diddy Excel spreadsheet then if you say for example had 10 op episodes of sickness uh, and in total that was 10 days then you would end up with a Bradford factor of a thousand if you had one episode of sickness that was 10 days long you'd have a Bradford factor of 10 and then the final example is uh, three episodes where you were in total five days uh, sick that would be three squared is nine times five is forty five um and as I was reading the uh, Bradford factor piece here, they were suggesting that a score above four fifty is categorized as recommended dismissal um and two fifty to four nine nine um is final written warning i I can't comment on whether or not that's that's right or not. I think it's just it's it's just an interesting measure, and it's certainly interesting from a DAX point of view. So, so what I what I needed to do to begin with was um, create something which was able to give us um, some kind of sickness record. So, if I just look at the this sickness record, I've created. Well, in actual fact, these are the, the the sickness record with a start and an an end date and so on, um, and then I turned that I've turned that into a fact sickness table. So what we've got here is from the first to the second uh, of March two thousand seventeen. Here's another two thousand seventeen one. I've deliberately gone for one in the future, and I've deliberately gone for one in the past. Uh, Bradford factor is. Uh, generally measured over a 12 month period so in actual fact the sickness ID 3 and 4 um, sit outside uh, our, our range so what I've done with that is I converted that um, and there's probably another post for that at some point about how I've, I've t converted this data here into this sickness table here so all we've got here is a number of dates so you can see the first and second um no, first second first through to the 10th and then um first of march second of march and essentially it's just a regurgitation of the um of the sickness record that we saw earlier on so the question then becomes how do we convert a table like this where we're effectively saying well what we really need is something which includes this item, this item, the 2nd and 3rd of July, but doesn't include the 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th of September because they're sitting out in the future. And the way to do that is to use the summarize function. Uh, what the summarize function does is it, it takes a table and, uh, for want of a better word, it summarizes it and, it and it does it in a very, very efficient way um, and that's what we're going to go through today. So enough of the chat, let's get on and start creating this. So I'm just going to give myself a full screen here. Uh, so the first thing when, we, um, when we're looking to create one of these tables is to go <coughs> onto the modeling tab and it's it's slightly deceptive because it makes you, you can look in here and you can sort of think this might be the place to go um but in actual fact if you go into the modeling tab and you click new table then <clears throat> then you can create um certain types of table 
So one type of table that you can do is calendar, calendar, calendar auto, which um, which looks at all of the tables that you've got in your um, data model and creates uh, one great big table of dates like that. <clears throat> and um, it's just an example of how you create a table. What we're actually going to use is the summarize function, summarize. Um, and we are going to do, I'm going to call this summary uh, 2. And we are going to summarize the uh, fact sickness table. Fact sickness. And this is where it all starts to get uh, a little bit interesting because you have to kind of know your field names and, and so on so so what we can do with that is go to the fact sickness table and we're going to bring in our first field and we can summarize it very simply by bringing in our employees so if i just hit the go button wow isn't that amazing? So if we look at the uh, sickness table, we actually only have one employee. Fabulous. Um, so we go back to the summary two. That's not really what we want. What we want is a little bit more detailed than that. So what we're going to do is we are also going to bring in the sum um, of, in fact, the first thing we have to do is um, we're going to name a field days sick and we're going to say what we're going to do inside that field we're going to sum and we're going to sum the um i think i've got a working day table there uh, a rather field and i think we might need another bracket so what it's going to do is going to tot up the number of working days six so we've got 18 working days um, and I've kept it real simple on my fact sickness table because you can see down here we've got 18 rows so we're okay but we know that we don't want these days here and we also don't want these days here so uh, going back to our summary table um, let, let's let's keep with this for the moment because we're also going to do um, something on episodes so we're going to put episodes sick um, comma and then we're going to say is distinct count of the fact sickness table sickness ID so I'm pretty sure that there's four of those and I need to close the bracket on there and then we should be good to go. So I'm expecting four. That's my four episodes. Fabulous. However, we know that we've got a problem with the um, the date range. So what we're going to have to do is we are going to have to filter this table here, uh, the fact sickness table. So what I'm going to do is I am going to... Oops, I shouldn't have done that. I need to do Alt Enter. Alt Enter. Alt enter just so it makes it a little bit clearer um, and we are going to filter this table because that's exactly what we need to do so summarize fact sickness um, fact tab that along and we're going to go filter fact sickness um, what are we going to do that's our table and we are going to say um, uh, fact sickness date uh, is less than or equal to today, today, and then that should be good to go. So I'm I'm building this up as we go. So what we're going to expect to see on this is we're going to expect to see some of our days drop off. In fact, we just I am um, accidentally clicked on there, and so we we just saw that we it it's moved from. 18 to 14 so we go back to our fact sickness table then these four here have dropped off lovely uh, back to the summary table that's great now the nature of the filter um, 
argument is actually pretty sure that it actually only takes one um uh if i say something like one equals one say it wouldn't be happy because you can only you can only have um you can actually only have one argument within the filter function unless you do the following so what you do is you can put and in front of that and so we're going to have two functions in actual fact with the and function um you can only have two arguments so i'm going to i'm going to do something slightly different and i'm going to do uh go to the end here and do the double and and with the double and you can just do at double and double and double and whereas with the um and the open brackets close bracket function you can only actually put two arguments um or two filters so what what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put in another um another filter argument effectively so i'm going to put fact sickness uh, date um is greater greater than or equal to today minus 365 that feels about right to me now and so what we're gonna uh, what we're expecting here is that our um we had day sick of 14 a minute ago i think that's going to drop down to four uh, fingers crossed yeah four um so we've we've got our day sick correctly now so what i'm going to show you is on the fact sickness table we've we've dropped off these ones here and we've dropped off these ones here lovely um so back to this sick summary and what we're then going to do and this is i think this is really cool so you can then do new column uh and we're going to do bradford factor um equals days sick times days sick times oops that's not the right one it's uh day sick times episode sick times episodes sick and that is your bradford factor so what we're expecting that to do is to come out with four times two times two which should come out as 16. okay so we've got our bradford factor um oh, that's that's nice um and it only really it's only really when you start to um beef up the data set that you can really start to maybe feel like you've actually got something fairly powerful so what i'm going to do here is i've i've created a number of employees i've got uh, I've got John, I've got Alice, I've got Miguel. Um, I've actually got a work pattern for these, so I, I went to <laughs> I went to almost far too much effort um, for these for this exercise. But it um, effectively says that for John he works every single day, just to simplify the the video. But for Alice, she actually works. She works doesn't work on a Monday, Tuesday, but she works Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then uh, weekend off. Lovely. So I've got um, John, Alice, and Miguel. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in some um, some sickness uh, in for those. And so I'm going to go a bit, it's going to go a bit, here's one I prepared earlier. I'm going to get edit query and I'm going to just borrow this data. So in it goes. Um, I'm going to jump into there. I'm going to borrow these ones here. So A, B and C. I'm not going to bother with any more. Yeah, I'll pop some more in for. Um, yeah, I'll pop these in. So I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to go into my sickness record. I'm going to open it up and then plonk these things in here. And I'm actually going to change it a little bit because I'm going to put it in 2017 because I kind of want to show you that it all works. Um, He's a very sick man, this poor, uh, uh, this is John here, and second, 
17th so <clears throat> what I've done is I've it's fairly detailed so it's not for this video but I've um, created a function that will work out whether or not they should have been working uh, and if they were sick essentially so if I hit the OK button on that it's built up this um, piece here um, and if I close and apply then our fact sickness table should change and it clearly does change so I'm going to close and apply on that and what oh deep joy yeah not too surprised uh, close on that just give me two ticks okay so after a bit of a hunting around I've I've found the error it's always fun um, and it was basically because you got uh, these sickness IDs didn't actually work so I'm gonna go s3 s4 um, they don't need to have I mean I'll just put five six seven eight nine ten eleven they're just um, text fields anyway so delete so I'll OK that and then close and apply and this should be nice and happy for me so what we've got there is got a heck of a lot more rows now so if we look on this fact sickness table um we can see you know we had our nice neat little um uh john there and he was all happy what you can see is with with alice you can actually see that certain days are not working days for her but she was uh she was sick um, but they're not counting um, and then if we move on to the summary piece then you've got Jan, Alice and Miguel you've got um, Alice with her 17 days sick um, covering two episodes and um, giving you your Bradford factor of um, 68 um, so and then clearly visualizing that is fairly straightforward um i think this is one a bit sort of here's one i prepared earlier um so john is the loser on this one um no one quite over 450 um but but the idea but you can hopefully um see just how powerful the summarize function in conjunction with the filter function um uh, is and hopefully um, you'll also find a use for it um, in the future I'm just just um, this this isn't a, a perfect table by any m imagination because it's um it's just dropped these tables in and then had a guess at a uh, and relationships between them uh, I never like these sort of relationships so um, I'm gonna kill that one straight off um, so where are we here yeah so we've got our employees links to employee number fabulous um but what you can see is that you can bring in um here's my here's my summary and um, it actually it exists and behaves just like um any other table that you might create um in power query and yet you've just created that using um using um that's interesting actually um yeah of course of course there's a one to one so yeah so you can use it just like you can use something that you might have generated in Power Query, and yet um, we know that it's it's very sort of consistently prepared and and so on, and it's a good you know providing you've done your logic correctly, it just works every time. Um, so hopefully you've found that interesting, and you might be able to find a use for it in the future. Uh, thanks very much. Oh, please give me the thumbs up if you've uh, if you enjoyed this, and um, hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.